Ontario Scholar, OSD recipient, and the winner of the Visual Arts Award and the VP Scarlet Award. Rebecca McGreechin, Ontario Scholar. Julia Mendoza, OSD recipient. Sai Gai Three Metla, IB Diploma uh, recipient, Ontario Scholar. Milika Mialkovic, Ontario Scholar, OSD recipient, and winner of the Business Award. Giovanni Miranda Hernandez, Ontario Scholar. Beatrix Mogus, IB Diploma Recipient. Thanks. Selena. Selena Mohammed, Ontario Scholar, winner of the Law Award, Health and Physical Education Award, and VP Scarlet Award. Aniza Mohammed, Ontario Scholar. Sena Mohammed, Ontario Scholar. Miftahul Mahona, Ontario Scholar. Alex Marariu, Ontario Scholar. Lena Modazetti, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Miriam Musnar, Ontario Scholar. Ariane Muzarmi, OSD recipient and winner of the English Award. Yeah, sure. Like, till when? And I'll get it back to you later. Okay. Juan Mustafa, OSD recipient. Adila Naomi, OSD recipient. Haria Najibullah, OSSD recipient. Sana Nasir, Ontario Scholar. How do I say your last name? Anon. Anon. Cliff Durkin Anon, OSSD recipient. Jovlin Ortega, Ontario Scholar. On, Kevin Pakirtham, Ontario Scholar. Yeah. <laughs> Ashvini Paraparan, IB Diploma Recipient. Abishan Possibility Pillay, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Christian Prasad, OSSD recipient. Are you guys brothers? No, we know, we know. Oh, okay. 
Nicholas Persaud, OSSD recipient. Medina Popal, Ontario Scholar. Janaya Powell, OS is the recipient. Mitrava Superkash, Ontario Scholar. Joshua Preston, OSSD recipient. Jada Price, OSSD recipient. Ali Punjani, Ontario Scholar. Insha Punjani, Ontario Scholar. Timothy Perkar, Ontario Scholar. Apita Puvanendran, Ontario Scholar. Amy Quinn, Ontario Scholar and winner of the Economics Award. Can I just say Abdul? Yeah, just Abdul Qureshi. Okay, cool. Abdul Qureshi, OSSD uh, recipient. <laughs> Ronaldo Rax, OSSD recipient. Edward Radut, OSSD recipient. <laughs> Yara Rudwan, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Nusha Rahman, Ontario Scholar. Rakshna Raja, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Roshan Rajkumar, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Abiram Ramanathan, Ontario Scholar. Divna Ranatunga, Ontario Scholar. Thank you, sir. Dennis Rapapur, Ontario Scholar. Let's go, you ready? <laughs> Just don't trip. Waris Raufi, OSSD recipient. Rashika Ravanindran, Ontario Scholar. Oh, Ali, I think you have the coolest name. I never told you that. Ali Raza, OSSD recipient. Victor Wren, IB Diploma recipient and Ontario Scholar. Chris, are you back up here? Jeez, you own this place. Chris Richmond, OSSD recipient, and the winner of the Equity Award.
Amir Oshenkar, IB Diploma recipient and Ontario Scholar. Zainab Saad, Ontario Scholar. Soren Sabir, OSD recipient. Anuha Sarawhi, OSD recipient. Manaf Saidi, Ontario Scholar. Ramuel Salido, OSSD recipient. First name Samad. No. Oh, my goodness, I had no idea. Mohammed Samad, Ontario Scholar, and winner of the VP Scarlet Award. Daniel Seo, Ontario Scholar. No, 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. Jasmine said the Kavalar, Ontario Scholar. Humaira hey. Shanawaz, OSD recipient. Leanne Shen, OS, uh, Ontario Scholar and OSD recipient. Michael Sheng, IB Diploma recipient and winner of the VP Scroll Award. Susan Shi, IB Diploma recipient. Fallon, should I say Jane there too or no? Fallon J. Simon, OSSD recipient. Nikki's fine? Okay, cool. Nikki Singh, Ontario Scholar. Let's go. Matthew Singh, let's go. Matthew Singh, OSSD recipient. Stephanie Singh, OSSD recipient. Stefan Singh, OSSD recipient. Yogita Singh, Ontario Scholar and winner of the College of Math Award. Abdul Rahman Sinjab, Ontario Scholar. <laughs> Ali Arish Sumani, Ontario Scholar. You, Nathaniel Somers, OSSD recipient. Ajay Ramsri Kamalan, Ontario Scholar. Brenavi Sri Kumar, Ontario Scholar. Shonak Srivastava, IB Diploma recipient, and Ontario Scholar. Sheldon Stevens, OSSD recipient. Thank you, sir. 
Neil Su, IB Diploma recipient. Thank you. Kimberly Sudarshan, Ontario Scholar. Super sad, right? Okay, sorry. Is that how I say it? Yeah. Sapphire Super Sad, Ontario Scholar. Sayashwin Suresh, Ontario Scholar. Rabia Tahir, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, and winner of the English Award and VP Scroll Awards. Tatiana Tierney, OSSD Recipient. Jonathan Thompson, OSSD recipient. Divya Tamotharanathan, Ontario scholar and winner of the Ontario Science Award. Kwan Cheng Tayan. IB Diploma Recipient. Thank you. Jada Tan, Ontario Scholar. CC Tan, IB Diploma Recipient and winner of the VP Scroll Award. Rohan Ten, Ontario Scholar and winner of the College Science Award. Travis Terrace, Ontario Scholar. Sophie, go get him. Sophie Tong, Ontario Scholar. Don't trip and you're good. It's only a job. Carmen Toussaint, OSSD recipient. Thank you. Soy? Jillian Choi. Okay, got it. Thank you. Jillian Choi, IB Diploma recipient and winner of the VP Scroll Award. Yeah. Thank you. Megan Udirian, Ontario Scholar and winner of the Music Award. Jadushant Udiyanan, OSSD recipient. Jerwin Valenzuela. Jerwin Valenzuela, OSSD recipient. Vasiharan. Thank God. Ashwin. Ashwin Vahitharan, Ontario scholar. Ryan Vedder, OSSD recipient. Thank you. Manasha Vetrivilu, IB diploma recipient. Thank you. Vidya Visvanathaya, Vidya Visvanathaya, OSSD recipient. Ali Walji, Ontario Scholar. Thank you. 
Annie Wang, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Felix Wang, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Mi Hang Wang, IB Diploma Recipient. Okay, sorry. Okay. Talia Wang, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar, and winner of the Computer Science and Engineering Award. Oh, Yanning? Yanning Wang, IB Diploma Recipient, and Ontario Scholar. Tony Wang, IB Diploma recipient and Ontario Scholar. How's it going? You good? Nayan Wansi, OSSD recipient. Thank you. Nyla Wasif, OSSD recipient. Danuja Wataj, OSSD recipient. Tristan Widener, OSSD recipient. Julia Wen, OSSD recipient. Adrian Wong, OSSD recipient. Yeah. Michelle Wong, IB Diploma recipient, Ontario Scholar. Can I say Max? Yeah. Max is fine. <laughs> Max Wu, Ontario Scholar. D. Shea, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Cherry? Cherry. Last name? Shu. Okay, I'm sorry. Cherry Zhu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar. Janice Zhu, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar. Leon Su, IB Diploma Recipient, Ontario Scholar. Justina Su, Ontario Scholar. Zu, is you okay? That's fine, I'm sorry. It's the best I can do. Iris Zu, Ontario Scholar. Rufi Yen, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. I know, it's getting crazy out here. Ryan Yang, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Sandy Yi, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Jonathan Yuen, Ontario Scholar. Chris Zhang, Ontario Scholar.
Henry Zhang, IB Diploma recipient and Ontario Scholar. Kevin Zhang, IB Diploma recipient and Ontario Scholar. Antonio Zhang, Ontario Scholar. Emily Zhang, Ontario Scholar. Begonia Zhang, Ontario Scholar and winner of the History Award. Angela Zhao, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Jason Zhu, Ontario Scholar. And Edward Zhuang, IB Diploma Recipient and Ontario Scholar. Now, of course, that was just for Edward. <laughs> so I, first of all, like to invite parents to sit down again because we are going to have a little bit more to the program, which will be very entertaining. And I think perhaps we need, ladies and gentlemen, the Victoria Park graduating class of 2019, perhaps a little bit more applause. And thank you to Mr. Karananathy and Mr. Scott for um, reading out the names and giving out the diplomas. Okay, so yes, once again, I'd like to invite you to sit down because the fun's just starting. Because I would now like to call upon next year's SLC president, Tassin Hassan, to introduce Victoria Park's 2019 valedictorian. Good evening, everyone. To be named valedictorian is a special honor. The valedictorian is selected by the graduating class to reflect upon and commemorate the, uh, the years at, at Victoria Park. His positive attitude, academic excellence, and commitment towards his school spirit uh, makes for a great candidate. And now, ladies and gentlemen, graduates and staff, Please give a warm round of applause for your 2018 to 2019 valedictorian, Andy Huang. So this part was just added to the script or like my speech before I came here. So we know how this year we didn't really get our graduation caps, but, but I don't think that's a bad thing because no cap means no limit, which I wish and I hope for the all of you guys, your future will be infinite and you will be amazing. All right, let's get into the program. Good evening, everybody. On behalf of the class of 2019, I would love to thank every single individual in this building who has come to join us on this beautiful summer evening. All the family members, friends, teachers, make some noises for the staffs organizing this event.
and guests for taking part with us on this extraordinary night. At this moment, at this moment, I would like to officially announce us, the class of 2019. <clears throat> we are in the end games now. <laughs> yeah, I still haven't watched the movies yet. We are the group of students who lived through the era of Fortnite. We danced to Orange Justice, Hotline Bling, said yeet and yikes way too many times. We dab. and do the mannequin. We have spent four years together in this high school. Maybe five soon for some of us, like what Ms. Back said, if you still haven't completed your volunteer hours. <clears throat> Ronaldo, wait, who said that? <laughs> everyone, everyone had been through some changes from the past four years. We started as participants of all the sports teams, music bands, and events to become now the leaders and organizers of these numerous activities. We witnessed the release of new Marvel heroes, and of course, we witnessed together one of the greatest inflation of our school's economic history. The price of cat food in 2015 to 2019. I remember in grade nine, like one of my best friends, Steven, would always stand in a line full of people in front of the one and only microwave our school has to heat up his lunch. <laughs> finally, finally, after all the hardships that we had gone through, something has changed. The number of people lining up has increased, but the number of microwaves didn't. To all the VP staffs, we will miss you greatly. You guys have also been through some changes. Mr. Scott, our principal, we began our journey here with you. I remember when I first walked into high school on the Green Night Orientation Day, it was burning hot. Our school had no AC, but, but you were there happily enjoying your time with us. Four years later, although we still don't have AC, but, but I can low-key see Mr. Scott wearing the vacation clothes under that gown because he can no longer handle the heat. <laughs> Ms. Reed, we will miss you announcing the playing of the national anthem to the singing of O Canada. Mr. Schweitzer finally fixed his harp and brought it to the school. And Mr. Ho had, <laughs> Mr. Ho had changed the greatest over the past two years from knowing me and teaching me physics. He got two years older. Who would have thought? I swear, the next time you ask him, he will still tell you like he's 67 years old. <laughs> One of the biggest changes in the staff members, two of my favorite teachers who have taught me in this building Mr. Vertanos and Ms. Back are going to retire this year. Aww. <laughs> Many of us probably had Mr. Vertanos as their Fazet teacher or French teacher. Here's a little story that I have shared with him. For the first day of class for French with Monsieur Vertanos, I volunteered myself to bring his attendance sheet to the office. He asked me, Comment s'appelles-tu? Which meant, what's your name? I paused, and I answered confidently. We. Oui. <laughs> and then I laughed. From then on, I know I became his favorite student. <laughs> Throughout high school, there were a lot of things that I didn't understand, but eventually figured out. However, one thing I would never understand about Miss Back is what does she put in her hair that makes them so poofy? <laughs> the 
you will also never know the actual answer to any to what extent questions. <laughs> the teachers will never know why they can no longer beat the class of 2019 in any teachers versus students intramural games. Yikes. <laughs> Despite all the changes that everyone had gone through, I would like to thank you, every one of you, for being there not just for my high school years, but for the ones around you. We have all overcome our own difficulties to be sitting here right now over the past four years. Not just us, all of our parents have also went through a lot in the past few years, so please give them your greatest appreciations. I would like to take the opportunity right now to thank my parents. Hey, Dad. Thanks for waking up early in the morning to be my chef and my chauffeur when I needed you the most. Mom, you are the one that I need to thank the most indeed because you are the one that wakes up my dad every morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You, I love you guys both. Thank you for always checking up with my work and constantly reminding me to stay on track. You guys had always been supportive. I wouldn't be here without you. And of course, I wouldn't be here without you guys. All the inside jokes we've made, the silly dance moves we have created, the random catchphrases we have said, we share all the memories we have made together at VP. Obviously, a big thank you to the teachers for sharing their passion and effort for teaching. I'm sure you will miss us. We might be one of the naughtiest class of students, but I guarantee you we will be the most successful ones and definitely the most attractive ones. Um, at this moment, I would just like to insert a friendly reminder. So show a hand. How many of you guys are 18 already? Like half, about half of you guys? All right. Start learning to pay your taxes, all right? And for the rest of you guys, just wait a little bit before you are legal to create your Tinder account. I was really surprised that I was able to finish this valedictorian speech. I'm going to be dead honest. For the longest time, I didn't even spell valedictorian properly. Shout out to Kithika, who corrected me for the proper spelling of that word. You are more of a real one than Google autocorrect. You guys may be wondering, why did I bring this story up? Well, it's because I want you guys to always appreciate your friends. Why? <laughs> because even when you do stupid things, you know that they will always have your back. <laughs> 2019 is a special year for us, not only because we are graduating, but we graduated when the Raptors won their first NBA championship. <laughs> that applause was for the Raptors. And I think after four years of grinding, we also deserve a round of applause. Four years of all-nighters, waking up early and staying after school late for music and sports, all the clubs we have committed to, we still managed to finish the majority of our homework and completed our exams. A Canadian, street, a Canadian super fan, street poet, Drake, once said, I can't really see another squad trying to cross us. You can bravely say that to the McDonald's manager. Yeah, they terrified of us. If it wasn't for us, they wouldn't have lost $5 million for free fries. <laughs> a 
a lot of people might be sad about graduation since they may not see their best, uh, they may not see their best friends as often as they used to. But I see it differently. Life is like a TTC subway ride. We constantly get on and get off, and we see others get on and get off. High school is just one of the stations. Some of us might want to exit the station as soon as possible, while some of us may be reluctant to get off. But eventually, we will all move on. People might get back onto the young university line. Some people might get on at a college station. Being apart is only for the better reunion. Sometimes we face difficulties too. The TTC has delays, and it may not be a smooth ride. Whether it's going to be an hour, a few hours late or early, you will all arrive at your destination. Every ride we take, every step we make, we have to pay a price for it. The cost can get pricey, just like the TTC. We interact with the others on the same subway as you. We enjoy the talk we had with them. We intersect with other subway lines who might share the same stop as you. The talks we've had, friendship we've made, and memories we have created is what made this ride memorable and made our class unique. <laughs> Arriving at Victoria Park, Victoria Park Station, this is the terminal station. Doors will open behind you. This is a video, don't worry. Congratulations, class of 2019. Thank you. Thank you very much, Andy. In recognition of being chosen as valedictorian for the class of 2019, we'd like to present you with this memento. One moment while we wait for our camera. Here we go, perfect. Super, thank you, Andrew. Well, ladies and gentlemen and graduates, thank you all for joining us this evening for this celebration of the achievements of the Victoria Park Collegiate graduating class for 2019. We would like to invite all the graduates and their guests to the reception that is being laid out in this room um, after we all exit. We would also like to remind graduates to return their gowns and pick up their real diplomas. Those ones are not real. Uh, in the main office back at the school beginning this coming Tuesday. However, you can recycle those ones into a basket on your way out. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to ask you now to stand at your seats to honor our graduates as they will recess from the room. Thank you. Thank you. 